Right, now we are in the chapter Kinematics of Linear Motion. Okay, uh, let's talk about the first subtopic called the linear motion. In this topic, we will learn about uh, instantaneous velocity and average velocity, okay, and also uh, uniform velocity. So, what is the difference between uh, this uh, velocity? Especially, what's the difference between instantaneous velocity and average velocity? What's the difference? Okay, instantaneous velocity is a velocity at specific time, at certain time. Huh? Uh, but average velocity is velocity for a certain period of time. Okay, let me explain more about uh, these two. Instantaneous velocity is a velocity at certain time. For example, velocity at time equal to 10 seconds. Uh, so velocity at that time only. Maybe uh, when uh, at, at other time, the velocity will become different. The velocity will change yeah? when uh, at other time. Uh, or we can also say velocity at certain position. Uh, that means at this position, displacement equal to 10 meter. So what is the velocity at this position? So at other position, the velocity might be different, might change. Okay. So to find instantaneous velocity, uh, we okay, if we have a displacement time graph, like you see here, uh, we have a displacement time graph. Okay. Let's say we have a displacement time graph. Right. Uh, displacement. So the graph like that. So for displacement time graph, to find the velocity. Out of the instantaneous velocity out of the displacement time graph, we use ds dt, which is gradient of the displacement time graph. Uh, but it is the gradient at one point only, at certain point. Yeah, maybe uh, look at here. Uh, look at here. This is a displacement time graph. Uh, what it shows here is a displacement time graph. So instantaneous velocity is velocity at a point uh, at a point yeah at a point at a specific time let's say uh, given here uh, like you see here yeah uh, at this time maybe this time is equal to 10 seconds ah uh, so uh, what is the velocity at this time uh, which is the gradient of the graph at this point at point c uh, so the gradient the slope of uh, this uh, slope at C is called the instantaneous velocity. You see that? Uh, slope at C is the, called the instantaneous velocity uh, at one point only. So at other point, the instantaneous velocity will change. You see that because the gradient change also. Let's say for for let's say for uh, for this point, okay. Uh, let's say uh, for this point for this time, uh, the gradient now has become. Uh, zero, you see that the gradient has become zero. Uh, so velocity is zero over here. Uh, so so it's different at other time. Yeah. Uh, okay. I hope you understand. Yeah. So it's a gradient at certain point. Now, for average velocity, it's a velocity for a certain period of time. So last time it has a specific time. Only one time, yeah. Only uh, let's say like ten seconds. Only one time. But average velocity is velocity for a certain period of time. Period of time means from what time to what time. Uh, like we can say it must have a two period, or sometimes we can say um maybe the whole journey. Uh, sometimes what's the average velocity for the whole whole journey? So it's not specific time, but have a certain time range. Okay. Uh. So it was the average velocity between from five seconds to ten seconds. So for for the whole time, uh, within this time time range, what is the average velocity? Okay. So the way to find average velocity is is uh, not a gradient of one point, but is we, we use total displacement total displacement within within that time frame divided by the total time taken. That means the time range, uh, the time range over here. Uh, like you see here, uh, let's say from 5 seconds to 10 seconds. So what's the time, total time taken? Uh, total time taken is uh, very easy. We just take uh, 10 minus 5, which is 5 seconds. Uh, the time taken uh, between these uh, 5 to 10 seconds is uh, 10 minus 5, which is 5 seconds. This is example. Yeah. 
So what's the total displacement? The total displacement within the time range okay, divided by the time taken, uh, which is uh, S2 minus S1 divided by T2 minus T1. Or we take delta S over delta T. Uh, when we use uh, DS dt, D is uh, for uh, limit to a specific time, yeah? limit to a specific time, but delta, delta normally for a time range, okay, delta for a time range, okay, uh, so this, this graph shows uh, accurately the difference between instantaneous velocity and average velocity, the short line uh, the sh the, is the gradient for one point, uh, gradient for one point, of displacement time graph the gradient of one point is the instantaneous velocity okay at certain time but the the long line is the average velocity for for certain time frame like from t1 to t2 uh, that's b to e is called the average velocity yeah the gradient of this line so we just take like you see uh, between uh you know just take uh, s2 minus s1 uh, this one uh, we get delta S. Yeah, delta S is uh, S two minus S one, and then um, the sorry yeah, and then we have here, we have here uh, the time range uh, from here to here, uh, from here to here we get delta T. Delta T is T two minus T one. Uh, so we just take uh, this delta S divided by delta T. Uh, we we will get the average velocity. Okay. Uh, that's average velocity as a certain time frame. Now, uh, uniform velocity is um, uh, magnitude constant and direction unchanged. Uh, why we need to consider two of these? Why we consider magnitude and direction both? Because uh, velocity, velocity is a vector. A vector, it has two components. It has a magnitude and direction. Ah, okay. So, in order to have a uniform vector, uniform vector, that means, uniform means what? Uniform means constant. Or you can say unchanged. Uh, unchanged. Not changing. Unchanging. Uh, unchanging so in order to have a constant velocity or unchanged velocity or constant velocity or uniform velocity these two must be constant yeah that means the magnitude must be constant and the direction also constant uh, not changing so for example like let's say i give example so like let's say at one second uh, the velocity is the velocity is to the right at uh, 10 meter per second uh, after some time let's say after some time maybe at 5 seconds the velocity has become this one uh, it's still 10 meter per second it's still 10 meter per second but the direction has changed uh, is this a uniform velocity no uh, this is not a uniform velocity because even though the magnitude the magnitude uh, the magnitude is a uh, constant okay the magnitude is constant uh, but the direction uh, direction changes okay the direction um, you know the direction changes uh, the direction changes uh, from going to the right go until going to the certain angle uh, here you have a certain angle already you see that so the direction changes so Ah, so this is uh, this velocity is non-uniform. Uh, this is non non-uniform velocity. Uh, non-uniform velocity because uh, only the magnitude is constant, or we can say. Uh, but this one is uniform speed. Uh, this one is uniform speed because speed uh, is a scalar quantity. Speed only consider magnitude only. Ah, it, the, the, the magnitude is constant, but uh, the direction changes. So, if talking only about the magnitude, the, about the speed, it is uniform. But talking about velocity is non-uniform because velocity include uh, two factor. It include magnitude and also direction. So, as long as uh, either one of it, magnitude or direction, if one of it changes, 
like for this example the direction changes okay the direction changes uh, even though the magnitude is constant ah okay uh, it's still non-uniform ah it's still non-uniform so this this one is non-uniform well this is a non non-uniform uh, non velocity because direction changes but it is a uniform speed uniform speed because magnitude uh, constant okay 10 10 uh, but the direction changes okay so um the uniform velocity means magnitude and direction both constant okay or we can say v or ds dt the gradient is constant uh, so we can say uh for example uniform speed how what give one example one example of the graph uh, if you draw a displacement time graph displacement time graph to have a uniform velocity that means it must be um you know it must be uh like this ah it must be a graph like this ah uh, uh, this one is uniform velocity why we say uniform velocity because the you see the gradient is constant ah uh, what does it mean by ds dt that was a mean by d means the gradient the gradient of what graph displacement time graph ah uh, the gradient of displacement time graph is constant you see the gradient the gradient of displacement time is actually velocity is actually velocity uh, the gradient is constant you see that the gradient is constant so this is a uniform velocity uh, if you talk about velocity graph if you talk about velocity graph then it is uh, if uniform velocity if uniform velocity um, okay if talking about uh, velocity graph if uniform velocity then it is like a straight line like this yeah ah, a horizontal line uh, maybe velocity equal to 10 meter per second uh, uh, this one is uniform velocity uh, uniform velocity okay not changing velocity uh, if let's say the displacement graph you have graph like this uh, let's say your graph uh, like this uh, like this and then like this and then like this ah uh, like this is not constant lah. Uh, like this is not constant because the gradient changes you see that the gradient uh, changes this one is non-uniform and uh, this one is non-uniform okay non-uniform uh, this one is uniform and uh, this one is uniform okay because the uh, gradient is constant uh, or even the if you have a curved graph uh, this one also non-uniform yeah like displacement time graph you see that graph uh, you see the you see the gradient this one gradient zero this one gradient like that then the gradient increases the gradient increases uh, so this one velocity is non-uniform uh, because velocity increase you see the gradient increase uh, this is non-uniform okay uh, this one is uh, this one is this one velocity uh, again yeah this one velocity uh, this one velocity is uniform okay so uh, that's all for this part okay uh, let's continue to the second videos